My name remains Feyi Ibrahim Adesonya and this is Lines and Precepts. Today we want to look at yet another wrong interpretation and uh, application of the law of sowing and reaping. And we come today to the one that says, so exactly what you want to reap. That is, so exactly what you want to reap. That is, you, you need a new shoe, so the shoe you have now. You need a new car, so a, the car you have now. You need a new house, so a new, the house you have now. Okay? Trade it in for another thing. You know, that, I mean, and they borrow credence from the application of that law in the physical realm. Which simply says that if you need rice, for instance, you have to sow the seeds of rice. Except for the fact that in this in spiritual the spiritual realm, it doesn't always work like that. In fact, in many cases, not the uh, in many cases that's not the, the truth. What you need to do on your part, spiritually speaking, now is sow whatever you you have to sow, and God will determine in what place and uh, what um, in what. Uh, Thing you will you will get the harvest, okay. So you don't have to start bothering about yourself that this is what I want to, this is what I want to have. So I have to sow this. It's not that mathematical. God is we the one who will determine what you will harvest. Yes, you you may say Galatians six verse seven says that uh, whatsoever a man sows, the same he shall reap. That is true. Uh, to the extent that the type of what you sow, if it's so good, you will not reap evil. And if you sow evil, you will not reap good. But that doesn't mean that if you sow money, you will reap money. And that's that's that thing we need to drum into our ears. So people come to church, for instance, and they give an offering, and at the back of their mind, they are thinking God will give me money back in return. It doesn't always work like that. The fact that you gave money does not mean God will give you money back in return. Yes, he said, good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over, shall men give into, onto your bosom. That is true. But it, that does not mean that if you give money, money is what will be given back to you. And uh, we have uh, I mean, examples all through scripture. Hosea 10 verse 12, the Bible says, sow to yourself in righteousness and reap in mercy. So you can sow in righteousness and reap in mercy. Do you understand? That's the way it operates in the spiritual realm. The Bible says further in Psalm 41 from verse 1 to 3 that the man who considers the poor has pity on the poor. He said this is how he will repay him. When he's sick, God said he will, he will strengthen him on the bed of his, uh, of his sickness. He will deliver him from trouble. He will, I mean, show up for him when he needs him the most. He does not say anything about giving him money in return. Yes, if he needs money, God can give him money back in return. But if that's not what he needs, God will give him what he needs. So you sow what you have and what you can give. God will pay you back. Something turning uh, God to an investment or a pyramid scheme. That's what, I mean, we have imported that mentality into our giving. Even in the church, people give money and they are expecting that God will multiply the money back. God promised a reward, not that he will necessarily multiply your, your money back. You understand? So, God will give it in you in what, and even when God is going to give you money back, God will not pour down money. He will give you avenues and opportunities, ideas that will make you make that money back. So, uh, let's get that straight. Let's get that straight. The woman in 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 8 to 17, that showed hospitality too to Elisha, what did God give her in return? God gave her a child, a child. God did not give her money back in return. She already had money. God did not give her, what he gave her back was a child. So you sow whatever you was wanting to sure God will definitely reward your giving. Every giving that is rightly done, rightly motivated, God will reward. But you don't determine for God exactly what he will pay you back. You, you don't do that. You can't say, I sold this laptop, I sold this phone, and this I will use to rip a phone back. No, you don't determine that part. You can choose your seed. God will choose what you will use, what, in what way you will harvest it. So bear that in mind. Uh, in the next uh, episode, I will share yet another misinterpretation and misapplication of the law of sowing and reaping. Until then, remain blessed.